All right, so this is semen retention day 20. Angels and demons. Well, Jesus Christ, the freaking demons don't stop. And thank God the angels don't stop either. <laughs> freaking angels. Like when the demons are all kicking my butt, the angels come by and they're like, all right, all right, break it up, break it up. And then take me to the corner, give me some freaking water, dry my sweat, heal my wounds. Freaking, yeah. But of course, I'm still the one going to the center of the ring. So it's a little tough, but, uh, <laughs> well, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Stay on the ropes? <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, day 20, I've been like, well, I'm going to talk about semen retention. If you want to turn it off after that, you can. I've been like edging on and off the whole 20 days, I'd say at least, mm, maybe half of the days, um, and of course, I had a streak for like 300 days or something like that, and I didn't really break it, it was just edging gone too far, so, mm, nothing official, but whatever and uh so i still practice semen retention but i uh you know i edge uh a lot compared to you know the last three years of semen retention i edge maybe like 20 30 times in the last four years and then you know the last month you know it's happened maybe 15 20 times all right, with that out of the way, uh, what else do I want to talk about? Um, it's getting hotter. It's getting hotter again. We had a couple cold days, a couple cold weeks, which was awesome. If you appreciated, if you enjoyed them, then awesome. If you didn't, try to enjoy the rest of the time because it's going to get hot. So, um, yeah, and I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm in a weird stage of life, uh, I seem to be, like, stuck, but at the same time, like, I'm swimming, so, alright, whatever, I'm swimming, and, uh, yeah, so, I'm like, if somebody saw me, they'd be like, he's drowning, he's drowning. But no, 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 I'm freaking swimming. It just, you know, it just doesn't look like, you know, someone who swims for fun. It looks like uh, <laughs> someone who knows how to survive. Even in the water. Speaking about water, I went to Pismo like two years in a row and I got traumatized. Like, I just figured, like, the first time I just figured, like, well, we'll just walk along the side of the beach, whatever. Or get in, you know, a little bit, you know, like knee deep or maybe even, the, uh, you know, just. A couple feet deep maybe but then I started going with like my son and his friend and they just went in there and I was like what the what's going on we're not supposed to do this and they went like you know shoulder deep into the ocean I was freaking the hell out I had to go in there I don't know how to swim I could have died they could have died and uh, there was like lifeguards but that's no guarantee, you know. So I'm traumatized. I don't want to go to Pismo for that reason. And 
and uh, so now my other options is San Francisco or Santa Monica. I don't think I've been to, well, I've been to Santa Monica, but I don't think I've been there for the beach, you know. San Francisco, I've been, I've been there, I've never gotten in the beach, but I've at least walked near the beach or got out and saw the beach or whatever. Anyways, I think I had more to say, but I just can't think of it. Thank you.